Hello everyone, this is Aethidus, bringing you another Terror Engine tutorial. In this one, we are going to be looking at some of the effects, and basically how to put them in, play around with them, and go on from there. So, to get to your Effects tab, first we'll click onto the scene, and we will jump over to Effects. Now these are all kind of cut up into subcategories. You have your fire, your obviously fire, objects, which is kind of more light sources, explosions, blood, weather effects, and just some miscellaneous, a bit of everything. And we'll also cover a bit of the lights and, well, adding effects and lights to your maps. So first off, we'll just check out some of the fire effects. So campfire, when you place an object, or any of the effects, you'll get a little box that says effect and you'll get this. So we'll have to open this up and you'll get enabled at start, preview, and use trigger to deactivate. So obviously preview gives you the preview. And then you can change the scale it if we wanted to. Which doesn't really do too much. I don't know. I know it did it on some of them. Maybe it doesn't do that now. And then just like every other effect, you can just delete it. Candle. Once again, you have to preview it. Now when it says candle, it's only the little flame. It doesn't actually give you the candle, just the little deck of flame. And then you'll just have to put in a model to make it look like it's on fire and then just a smaller fire or no this is the bigger one I don't remember don't question me and then oil fire which should give you the biggest one because you know oil very flammable and then an oil leak Yay for pretty fireworks. And then you have your objects. Your candles. And just like any other object, you can just rotate them. I don't think scale affects these guys. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, they do. So you can always change the scale of them. Just remember, they're going to be somewhat small. You can raise or lower them. And then delete them. And then we got a hanging torch. There you go. I think you could play with yeah, these two, yep. And then just a little lantern. I don't think this one gives off much light, but it does. And then ground torches, stone torch, and wall torch. You can easily figure out. Now explosions, these you want to set on kind of a trigger system because, well, they're explosions. Kabooey! Explosion's fun, you know what? Let's go inside. Oh. Alright, is everybody ready? Fire in a hoe! <laughs> Total mess destruction. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, you can easily have fun with explosions and such. Artillery strike. Let's do that one too. Aww. I was hoping it would have been a little. Actually, have something fall from the sky. 
oil explosion? Oh, I suppose that's it. Yeah. And small explosion. Yeah, those are stuff you want to have to put on triggers or make it for, you know, a level or something. And then your blood. I think these are just little particles. Oh, there we go. That's why I couldn't see it. Yeah, it looks a little weird. But like I said, this is kind of stuff you want to put on a trigger. Blood waterfall, of course. Can't get any more metal than that. Blood squirts are to be triggered, you can use on trigger base. And weather your, your weather effects. You got dust. Kind of, it gives you a bit of an area for dust and inhale. Pretty self explanatory. Rain, snow, flurries, they're all self explanatory. Now, miscellaneous kind of gives you a little bit of just a bunch of other stuff. Acid spray, again. Stuff you wanna, you can use on triggers or you can use on fancy decorations. What else do we got? Fireworks. Let's see if these work. Yay! Blingy! Celebration! Fallen leaves. What else we got? Red orbs, dashes. What is this one? I don't think it's. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that'll be a one time use trigger use. But yeah, you just play around with all of them. And I'll show off this one the water effect. Because this one. You're gonna easily have to expand it. Just keep in mind, I know from my experience, the water can or may cause a little bit of lag or frame rate issues. So definitely be careful of that. But it looks nice. You can easily add a little bit of water. All right, well, uh, I'll leave the rest for you guys to play around, have fun with those effects, but let's move on to some lights. Now, you got three different lights. You got area light, spotlight, and global light. Area light, for the most part, is kind of what I use all the time because it's uh, basically the light adds a, emits the area, right? So you can have enable it start, you can have cast shadows, you can have it so it flickers. You can change the range of it. The strength of it. And you can even go into decimals. Make some shoes. What color do you want to give it? And then you can add a flare to it. Like have 50 millimeter flare, a street light glare on it, a small flare, and with the sun. Now you won't see up in the editor, but when you're in game, you will see all the flares and glare lights. So that's the first one. Now spotlight is well, as you will imagine, a spotlight where it'll only shine in one direction. Again, the basic settings. Range. Strength. Color. Flares. Pretty much the same thing as the last one, just it's in a, it's a focused 
light of beam, spotlight. And then global light, this affects the actual world. I'll come out here. This is, I don't see a difference where placing this will be. It's just, well, it's global light. Kind of like, well, where do you want the sun to be on the world? And then you could play around with it some more. Uh, I don't, the range won't do anything, so it's just whether or not how strong you want it because it's going to illuminate everything regardless of where you are, so keep that in mind. If you want to maybe use that instead of placing a whole bunch of little lights around, you can just do that, give it a little feel of there's an actual sun, this actual skybox lights up the sky or the, the world. You know, play around with all of those. So yeah, I'll leave the rest of the playing around with the other effects up to you. I'm just showing you just kind of the basics of just playing around, editing them, placing them. So thank you all guys so much for watching. Hopefully this enjoyed, or not enjoyed, helped you guys out in creating stuff for the Terror Engine. Happy gaming, or happy building guys. I can't talk today.